My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Garter snakes as we know it are harmless snakes that can be found just about everywhere in the U.S. I see them all over the place back home, and catching them never really worries me because they rarely bite and are non-venomous. However, what if I told you that there might be a such thing as a venomous garter snake? The closest thing to a venomous garter snake that I can think of is this, the eastern garter snake. So this is actually something that is uh, not the most common snake out here, at least I wouldn't think. People see them a lot, however, uh, the closest thing to this you're much more likely to see out here in South Louisiana is the ribbon snake, which is considered a type of garter snake. They're in the same genus, but they are so much more common. They live in so many different kinds of habitats, and there is no mistaking this for a ribbon snake because ribbon snakes do not have the checker patterning that a lot of garter snakes, including this one right here, does. This is indeed the common garter snake, and there's lots of different kinds of common garter snakes that you get around the United States. However, this one right here is an eastern garter snake, and eastern garter snakes are thought to be a mildly venomous species, but even if it is actually considered venomous, it is not something that I need to be worried about. Getting bit by this guy usually just means maybe a bit of bleeding if the bite is bad enough, but overall, this is a completely harmless snake. They eat a multitude of different things, ranging from slugs to snails to all sorts of stuff. And these guys are a lot more terrestrial than ribbon snakes, meaning that they usually live most of their lives on the ground rather than, say, in the water or what I consider a more of an aquatic snake. So ribbon snakes are a bit more aquatic, whereas these guys are a bit more terrestrial or earthy. <laughs> and overall, just a really pretty snake. Eastern garter snakes can look so many different kinds of ways. Um, the only other eastern garter snakes I've ever seen were up in Michigan, and they look way different than this. And eastern garter snakes in general can get really big, too. They can get up almost probably about four feet long sometimes. But normally, they're about this size and a little bit bigger. One of the things these guys do as a defense, um, as we know, a lot of snakes will musk on you, which is just try to make themselves as stinky as possible. They smear it all over you. It smells horrible. But another thing snakes do, especially the eastern garter snake is they will flatten themselves out almost like a cobra because cobras what they do to flatten their hoods out is basically take their rib their rib cage and expand it out like this and that's what allows them to kind of go flat like that well lots of snakes will do that with pretty much their entire rib cage making their entire bodies almost flat making them look as big and scary as possible and the only part you don't see their body expanding is their tail because they don't have any ribs on their tails it's just uh, just a vertebrae they also flatten their heads out and sometimes they gape their mouth and sometimes even they bite but most of the time all they're gonna do is wiggle around and musk all over you so does the eastern garter snake make a good pet? The answer is not so much. This is not a species that you often see in captivity. A lot of the other species you see in captivity tend to be checkered garter snakes and California red-sided garter snakes and sometimes plains garter snakes. Whereas these guys, the eastern garter snake, not something you typically see in captivity. Comment below uh, if you know why eastern garter snakes aren't very common in the pet trade as opposed to some of the other species around. But um, overall, I guess if you found one that was captive raised, you could probably keep it as a pet. But overall, I think there's much better options than the eastern garter snake out there. Overall, a completely harmless snake, and if you see one, don't be afraid. Just let it do its thing. They're, I promise, a lot more afraid of you than you are of them. But other than that, thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the eastern garter snake. And let's see what else we can find out here in the Louisiana swamp. Venomous or not, garter snakes aren't ever a snake one should be afraid of. They are completely harmless, even if you happen to get bitten. I've worked with garter snakes for many years now, and in my opinion, they're generally a highly underrated snake. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.